guys, Dark Aramoto. Today we are going over to the Baltimore Motorcycle Collective. Hey guys, today we are actually checking out the Baltimore Motorcycle Collective. Uh, what that is, is a workshop and a build space to be able to build out, take care of, maintain, learn, take classes, hang out with other people in the community. Motorcycle stuff. That being said, I'm super excited to go there. Um, I've been in contact with, I believe his name is Ethan. Seems to be a cool guy with a cool vibe, like that. Figure I'd make a little video about the place and show you guys what they're all about. Maybe he'll be nice enough to get on camera and explain a little bit as well. That would be cool. Uh, but more importantly, um, you know, I keep talking about being a new rider and I'm going to want to be able to sign up for some classes and take some general maintenance stuff that's going to get me and keep me on the road. Yeah, I think no matter what level you're at, you should at least know some basic maintenance routine. I know none. figure out. Ooh, here we are guys. I love a place that's even complete with a uh, super secret bat cave entrance which is kind of what this has, which is pretty effing cool. Not at all, but it's cool. Nice to meet you, nice meet you as well. So what did you end up uh, planning for tonight? Just uh, people working on stuff and no, kind no. Of goodies? Tonight is uh, tonight's basically going to be about um, what, the, what the club is going to look like. Okay. Actually, it's kind of funny because um, one of the founders of the Chosen Ones just happened to stop by today. And, huh. Huh? Um, and so today, basically, we're talking about what kind of stuff we want to do as a club, what kind of, you know, work, because right now what we're talking about is like all the different gangs that start, clu that start clubs and how we don't want to be a part yeah. of any <laughs> may, may, Maybe not a gang, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, we're, you know, trying to figure out what's going to keep us together, what our culture is going to be, be like, and uh, I don't know, shoot the shit over some pizza and beer, really. Awesome. Get to know each other. That's the main thing. Get to know each other. Yeah. But, uh, yeah. Ooh. I don't know. I, I actually, like, they got here way earlier than I was expecting. I was going to go out and get some beer, but. I just was out here this morning. Oh, 
always finding random bits. <laughs> I'm surprised you're able to find the place. I uh, just I looked at the Google map beforehand and you had that nice little drawn out arrow of like the make the right and then over yes. on your webpage. Uh, and it worked. I as soon as I saw the red building, yeah. I was like, the only thing I didn't know is when you drive through the pillars, whether you make the first turn or the second turn. Mm -hmm. But I guess the second because I know you're farther down. So Yep. Just the second turn if you're on your bike, first turn if you're in a car. All about, you know, map relations, spatial relations, all that fun stuff. Yep. <laughs> I guess. Uh, oh, sweet. And I'm one of your few subscribers on YouTube. Yay! I followed you at a distinguished gentleman. I just didn't get to talk to you. Tim, what again? What was his name? Gene. Gene, nice to meet you. Tim, Rob, Rob. Rob? Nice. And was it Steve? Speed. Speed. Hi. Great to meet you. So yeah, really cool experience. Um, she really wants to build a social group and a social club around Baltimore, and that's kind of perfect and kind of what I've been looking for, so it's kind of awesome. Uh, cool small group right now, hopefully bigger. We can do some rides, some activities, some events. Definitely a worthwhile experience, um, plus a really cool shop. Um, so basically, the way it's going in, it's if you want to work on a bike and join the membership, you can join the Baltimore Motorcycle Collective. But they're also allowing you to just be part of the social group, which is going to be under Taro, Terra Moto Social. And that's going to be a social club in Baltimore for the events and for the rides. Alongside, but also separate from the shop. So yeah, that could be really cool. Uh, just like-minded individuals who like bikes, who want to get together and ride and do cool things. That's uh, kind of exactly what I was looking for. Definitely fits the bill. But yeah. So if you if you're in Baltimore. And you have an old vintage bike or you want to buy a bike and you don't know where to start check out the baltimore motorcycle collective if you already have a bike you're not sure if you're going to wrenching or not check out terra Meadow social club and like i said we're going to be organizing events if you're in baltimore you already have a bike who cares if you don't have to wrench you can still come out to the meetings I mean, that's where I'm at. I'm on a new bike. You know, I'm still going to go to Baltimore Motorcycle Collective to learn how to do stuff, but knowing that they're going to try to 
kind of promote a culture around what he's doing as well is kind of amazing. Um, you know, it happens to be in the place, but it's completely separate from the from the actual company. So, so I'm really excited about you know what this could bring to the Baltimore motorcycle community. And you know, he wants to invite other groups and other people over. He wants to you know get people involved, and I think that's fantastic. pushing inclusiveness, and that's exactly what he's doing, so I highly encourage everyone to check him out. Yeah, you know, he's he's got this place where we can all meet, we're going to have meetings, we're going to decide the kind of events that we want to do. For the love of two wheels. <laughs> 